Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to BWTM Sports Online. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button, like, and share this video. Today celebrates, it celebrates, it's the passing of Henry Armstrong, the great fighter, Henry Armstrong, uh, multiple weight world champion. And since his passing, he there's been a foundation, the Henry Armstrong Foundation, that a lot of people don't know about. So we're going to talk a little bit about Henry Armstrong, the background about Henry Armstrong. And after I've done that, we'll talk a bit about the foundation. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And after we do that, we will show you Henry Armstrong in 2018 in Round for Round Boxing. For those people who may not know about Round for Round Boxing, we've got some pictures here of Henry Armstrong later in his career once he retired. There were some kids in his community. You see him there once he once he was boxing. He also became a preacher as well. And of course, Henry Armstrong, otherwise known as Homicide Hank. I was given these photographs by his grandson Edward Scott Jr., who um, was very um, he sent the photos to me. Talk a little bit more about. The, uh, the Henry Armstrong Foundation to raise more awareness among boxing fans, just people around the world to know more about the Henry Armstrong Foundation. So without further ado, I'm going to talk a little bit about Henry Armstrong and the Foundation, and we'll take it from there. So the Henry Armstrong Foundation is a non-profit 501c3, so they're based in America, organization founded by Edward Scott Jr., the grandson of Henry Armstrong. So what's the inspiration behind the Henry Armstrong Foundation? The Henry Armstrong Foundation, Henry Armstrong, the, found, the, the inspiration was born Henry Jackson Jr. on December the 12th, 1912 in Columbus, Mississippi. Armstrong graduated with honors in Vachon High School in St. Louis. His dream to attend college and be Become a doctor was thwarted when his father became disabled and his family needed a breadwinner. Named Homicide Hank, Hammering Hank, a perpetual, perpetual motion, and a human buzzsaw. Armstrong was an international phenomenon. He is the only boxer in history to what hold three world titles simultaneously in three different weight divisions within a 10 month period in the year 1938. His record remains unbroken. Armstrong's career spanned 14 years from 1931 to 1945. He was managed by Eddie Mead, jazz singer Al Johnson, Jelson, and actor George Raft, and was one of the three first of three fighters inducted in the Boxing Hall of Fame in 1954. After retiring from boxing, Armstrong worked with at-risk youth through his foundation became an ordained Baptist minister. He died in 1988. The foundation's mission is to raise funds for those who were less fortunate. 82.1% of all donations received will go towards helping us make us, the foundation, maintain their outreach programs, which include scholarship programs, positive thinking mentoring, youth programs, and, and the adopted non-for-profit organizations, the Midnight Mission, Feed the Children, and other established non-profit organizations dealing with the plight of hunger and at-risk youth. Mr. Henry Armstrong received help from this same mission located in downtown Los Angeles before he became champion of the world. The ultimate goal of the foundation is to acquire a youth center in the name of Henry Armstrong. The youth center would be a replacement to the Henry Armstrong News Center, originally founded by Henry, by Henry Armstrong in 1952. The center will empower and enhance the self-esteem of youths by providing entrepreneurial vocational training and sports programs in the city of Los Angeles. So that's a little background about um, the Henry Armstrong Foundation. We're going to add a little bit more to that as well. So in loving memory, of boxing legend Henry Armstrong, who passed away on this day, October the 24th, 1988. So 
the great Henry Armstrong passed away on October the 24th, 1988. The Henry Armstrong Foundation Incorporated has been classified as non-profit, as I said, a 501c3 organization by the Internal Revenue Service, so it's tax exempt. Your contributions are greatly appreciated and are fully tax deductible as allowed by law. So check out more about the Henry Armstrong Foundation. Please go to www.henryarmstrongfoundation.org slash give slash now HTML. You can check it out yourself. Just go to www.henryarmstrongfoundation.org. That is H-E-N-R-Y. A R M S T R O N G F O U N D A T I O N dot O R G. So www.henryarmstrongfoundation.org. You can go on there, I'll tell you everything about the foundation, lots of stuff about the people behind the foundation, what sort of programs they run, and of course, more about Henry Armstrong himself. To send contributions by mail, Please make your checks or money orders payable to Henry Armstrong Foundation, Incorporated, 2007, Wiltshire Boulevard, Suite 727, Los Angeles, California, 90057. Now, all these details that I'm telling you here are in the description of this video. So, in terms of 2018, we have been honoured by Edward Scott, the grandson of Henry Armstrong, and he gave us permission to have Henry Armstrong in the upcoming boxing game, round for round boxing. So let's bring Henry Armstrong into 2018. And let's see how he'd look like, what he'd look like in a video game in 2018. Get it up. I think it'll play. By well, my luck, it probably won't play now. That's a shame. I kind of get to play now. Okay. It's not working at the moment, which is a shame. Don't get the video up. Hold on a second, let's see if this will be up for you. Yeah, we're we'll looking to see if it for you people. Give me a second.
once again we thank Edward Scott and the great Henry Armstrong for being a part of this wonderful game. Once again, um, Henry Armstrong, triple weight world champion, and uh, but for a draw would have been middleweight champion of the world as well. Once again, rest in peace, champ, Henry Armstrong. And once again, check out the Henry Armstrong Foundation. This has been BWTN Sports. We're out. Thanks for watching.